All right, are we filming? I think we're filming. Hi guys, it's Eve, and I'm here for week two. What exciting thing are we talking about for week two? Writing! Yay, I love writing! I should love writing. I'm an English major and an author. It'd be kind of silly if I didn't like writing. So today, what we're talking about for writing is I'm going to tell you my method for getting inspired to write stuff. Be it those annoying essays you have to bullshit, it seems, every week for college, or for actually writing your chapters, because you actually need to write a book in order to write a book. So, what do I do first? I actually listen to music to help get myself inspired. Now, random fact, because Tristan decided we should do random facts, and I do love random facts, music can actually help or hinder your writing. If you actually listen to, like, classical music and shit while writing essays, it actually seems to help. Rock music, on the other hand, does not. So, when writing essays, I actually do a compromise. I listen to video game soundtracks. Mostly folklore. Doesn't it sound pretty and soothing and calming? It's so nice. And then you get sun songs. Well, creepy songs like this. And it inspires you to write faster and actually get your shit down. It's kind of wonderful. However, novels don't seem to have that problem. Ah, loud! 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 Novels, you can use whatever music inspires you to write. So, you, get, you can actually play. Hardcore rock and roll music, if you wish, and it should not hamper you. Why rock music hampers you writing essays? I don't know. Maybe it's... Down! 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 I am not good with volume. I am not. Let's move on. Okay, so, after I start rocking out like the hardcore mofo I am, I start planning. I... Some people plan a lot. They plan every sentence of what they're going to write, every topic, subtopic, sub-subtopic, and periods. And then other people just write. They just write, and it seems the pure, unadulterated magic streams from their fingertips. I am neither of those. Actually, I tend to be a weird combination of both. So here's usually what I do. Here are actually my notes for the blog. Isn't it exciting? I have bullet points and everything. I'm somewhat organized. But I don't go into great detail. I just take a few little notes. Just enough so I know what I'm doing, but not enough so that I can't be spontaneous at the same time. And you know what? All these methods are okay, so find a method that's good for you. If, of course, you're actually taking my advice. If you're not, that's also okay. So, after that, you think I start writing, right? Nah. I let my ideas percolate first, and in case you don't know what that means, that means I let them kind of stew in my brain, and I think. I meditate. Like a Jedi. Except I am not a Jedi. I wish I was a Jedi. Sometimes you just need a few minutes to think. Sometimes it, you take a few hours. Once, I took like 20 minutes to percolate on an essay about Dracula and stuff, looked over notes, and then I wrote a five-page essay in two hours flat with no breaks. It was awesome! And yes, I got a good grade on it. So then finally what you do... You're right! Doesn't that make sense? So, there are multiple methods to how you actually write things, like an, be it essay or novel. Some people write a little bit at a time and then take a break. Maybe write a few paragraphs and then lose yourself on Tumblr for a few hours, write a few more paragraphs. Some people like to be multitasking at the same time, so they'll have music playing while they're writing. I'm one of those people. Or I know a lot of people who will be writing and Skyping at the chatting at the same time. So you respond to someone, write a little on your essay, respond to someone, write a little on your essay, go back and forth and back and forth until you're done. And then sometimes you're just hit with divine inspiration, like a muse is sitting right next to you, beating you upside the head, and everything just comes out in a giant dump of words and beauty. Well, I don't know about you, my words usually aren't that beautiful when they come out. That's what rewriting is for. Now, as you can probably tell, you shouldn't rewrite as soon as you're done writing. Otherwise, you won't find anything wrong with it, because, of course, you don't mean to write shit. So when you first look at it, it doesn't look like shit. 
Good suggestion is to wait a little bit, uh, at least a few hours for me. I find it takes a few days or months before I'm ready to properly look at something and see its problems and rewrite it. Also, if you know a good English major or just anyone else who's good at reviewing essays, get them to look at it for you. Go, hey, help me, help me, read this for me, please. Tell me what's wrong. Usually they'll give good advice, and then you know what to fix, and then you can turn it in for class or into your publisher or whatever, knowing that there's probably less mistakes than if you did it all by yourself. Of course, sometimes you get jerks who just totally rip your essay apart, and then you want to rip them apart, but that's a different story entirely and usually doesn't happen. And then if you do this enough, eventually shit will get done. You'll have your essay, you'll have your book, and then you have to write more. And you're going to repeat this process for all of your college years if you go to college. If you're an author, like me, you're going to repeat this forever. I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, that's my vlog for the week. Um, don't really... Oh, wait, I do have something exciting planned for next week. I am thinking about actually doing a video on the way to a showing of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. That should be exciting. Anyway, see you guys later in the week. Hope my tips helped, or at least were vaguely amusing. Ciao!